You can decide how much of your LinkedIn profile you make public, and this is the easy way to do it. Click on public profile and URL, so just click on the little pencil here. This is actually the same place where you edit your custom URL to personalize the link for your LinkedIn profile. But in addition to that, you are able to change your visibility settings from here. As you can see right now, this profile is not public. So if someone Google searches this person's account and they search their name, they won't be able to see anything from their LinkedIn profile. So now let's say we want to turn the setting on so that people can see certain elements from this LinkedIn profile. As you can see here, you can decide what part of your profile you want to make public. The options in terms of what you have here will depend on how complete your LinkedIn profile is. The more sections you have on your LinkedIn profile, the more things are going to show up here. So let's say you have 10 work experiences, which is a lot. You shouldn't have 10. Let's say you have five work experiences on your profile, then it's going to show up right here in terms of different options of past experiences that you can decide to show or not to show. And so let's look at this just as an example. So you can decide maybe all I want people to see is my current experience, but not any previous experience I've had. So you can turn that off and they can't see your past experience. Let's say you don't even want them to see your current experience. You can turn that off and you'll have only your name and your headline that will show on your profile. So basically you have the ability to decide what sections, how much of your profile you want to make public when someone Google searches you. If you're working on your LinkedIn privacy settings and you want to look at someone's profile without them knowing that it was you, check out this video right here. I'll see you in that one.